surround yourself with people that make your play better. So ideally, you want to find a team that will practice in the same vibe as you, that will have the same principles as you and what to look for. If you can't get that, get a group of friends so that you can pug together when you can. If you can't, start playing pugs and then find people that, oh, this guy plays a little bit more team mechanics. If you surround yourself with those kind of people, you will then, every time you play, you will be learning the things you should be looking for. At least you'll be getting more out of those situations. And I think when you're starting off or when you're trying to make it to that next level, that is probably the most important thing that you should be going after. It's staying in the fundamentals, it's playing the correct Counter-Strike or a next level Counter-Strike. Don't just play for the fun of it, for the headshotting and blood. Try to always put in that little extra work to play in the, to look for the fundamentals and to play that correct CS. I've seen the best players in the world who will play with some of the worst people that I've ever seen. Like their their best friends, like their kids from their school or just from their street from when they were younger. They, they, they don't know how to play CS that well to a personal level, but they're having fun. But when this player is playing with them, he's doing every little step. He's doing the correct jiggle peaks. He's flashing for the teammates. He's practicing his communication. That way it becomes a habit. It's instilled in you so that whenever you're faced with any situation you don't even have to think about it It just comes to you naturally right so i think that that's the most important part the best thing you can do is change something about your preparation change something about your your work i think um it's one of the hardest things to do is to change the habits that you've developed especially if the habits have have you know progressed you from you know point a to point b but if you need to get to point c sometimes you have to adapt and sometimes you have to kind of tinker with your with the way you're doing things um and I, you know i think that's one of the difficulties and it's certainly been one of my my struggles and obstacles stepping in as a coach has been you know these guys have been doing so well and then we're still kind of doing a lot of things the exact same as is when they won the grand slam um and there's going to have to be some tweaks here or there to see if we can find a new path forward um and at least investigate you know other areas of preparing for matches so um you know i think if you if you're plateauing change something in how you're practicing change something in how you think about a situation change something in how you prepare for something um and and see if that is actually the fix see if there's something different and also i can't say this enough because i've i've had this as well um don't be afraid to ever like reach out to anyone you know i i know like for me you know i've reached out to, to y and k a couple times about some coaching i've reached out to zeus a couple times about some coaching so um you know when i have questions and when i hit a wall i know sometimes we like to think that we have all the answers or that we can at least discover the answers um but it's it's much easier and much quicker to go to people who've been there before and see if you can have a conversation and see if you can steal some of their ideas or you know see if they experience some of the same obstacles and struggles as you did um and there's plenty of plenty of pro players out there or people who have competed at the pro level who even if they're not the best in the world will have some intelligent advice that they can give that will help you out as well.